In this video, I will tell you how you can integrate Calendly and Tabli email marketing software together so that any appointment that is booked on your Calendly account will automatically be transferred to the Pabli email marketing account. This means any person whose email is registered inside Calendly will be transferred to Pabli email marketing as a subscriber. So the first thing that we have to do is to set up a webhook. Now webhook is a way to actually transfer data from one software to another. Webhook is always triggered whenever there is an event which happens inside your Calendly account. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just writing set up webhook inside Calendly. Okay. Uh, so there is a link here. It says create a webhook subscription inside Calendly. Okay. And the way to create a webhook is through a link that they have given along with some of the parameters that we have to pass in the request. Now I will be showing you the entire setup without you having to code anything. So it is all user friendly. You have to, you do not need any technical knowledge to do all these things. Just follow along the steps that I'm going to show you. The first thing that you have to do is you have to go inside accounts.pabli.com slash apps where you see all the applications inside Pabli. Uh, you will see a connect uh, box right here. Click on access now here. Once you are inside Pabli connect, you can create a new workflow. My account already have several workflow, but you can create a new workflow. Okay. So the workflow name is Calendly to PEM. PEM stands for Pabli Email Marketing. Okay. I'm just saving the entire segment and you can see Calendly to PEM is connected right here. So we are moving back to the create a webhook subscription. It is saying that we have to post a request at this URL along with the URL where should we send webhooks to. So basically webhooks is a way to get data from one software to another software. So we have to set up a URL inside Calendly where Calendly will send us data whenever any event happens inside Calendly. Okay. So when you log in inside Pabli Connect, you can see that Pabli Connect actually provides you with a webhook URL. This webhook URL needs to be inserted inside Calendly. Okay. But Calendly does not offers you any user interface to just insert this URL right here. So we have to fire a request to actually get this uh, URL inserted inside Calendly. Okay. So the way to do that is to click on this plus icon. Okay. And now we have to do few things. Uh, we have to just copy this definition. Okay. Uh, inside this, we have to choose app and click on method as post because we want to post something to Calendly. Uh, the endpoint URL will be like this. Uh, the payload type will be form data. Okay. Uh, I'm just telling you the steps right here. You do not have to worry about the steps later. Just follow along the steps that I'm going to show you. Uh, next click on add headers and you can see that there is a header uh, by the name of X token that we have to use. So I'm just adding X token. And inside X token, a token will come, the API token will come uh, for Calendly. Okay. So we will move back to the Calendly account. We will click on integrations and inside integration, you will see a API key right here. So I will just copy this API key and I will just paste this API key right here. Okay. Uh, I will remove this second key inside headers. So I'm just pressing minus button right here. Uh, next I'm clicking on set parameters. Okay. So there are just two parameters. One is the URL of the webhook. So I'm just writing URL and to find the URL, I'm just going up on the above step. I'm just copying the URL and I'm just pasting it right here before pasting. I'm selecting use text and I'm just pasting the URL right here. Okay. Next step is to click plus and the next event is events uh, in the bracket. So I'm just using events in the bracket right here and it says invitee created. Okay. So whenever new invitee is created, uh, Calendly will send a webhook to this specific software to Pabli connect. Okay. On this URL. Okay. So after doing this, uh, I think the entire setup is done. I'm just pressing the save button now. So it says API data is saved successfully. I'm just saying, okay. 
and I'm just pressing on send test request. As soon as I do that, it says test API is successfully executed and you get an ID of 636526. This means a webhook is set up inside my Calendly account, which will transfer every webhook data to Pabli Connect now. Okay. This is a one time process that you have to do to set up a webhook inside Calendly. And once you do that, you can just simply remove this API from here. Okay. Now we don't need that anymore because the webhook is already set up inside Calendly. This means uh, now any event that happens inside Calendly will be received inside Pabli Connect. Okay. So I'm just reloading this page once. Uh, I'm just saving it once. Uh, okay. And I'm just reloading this page once. Okay. <clears throat> once I do that, what I'm going to do is now, uh, I'm just trying to see if the data is really coming over to Pabli Connect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open one of the web form, uh, the appointment form, and I'm just trying to book an appointment now. So today is 12th. So I'm just trying to book an appointment for 12th uh, at maybe 12 p.m. And I'm just confirming the appointment before entering name and email address. One thing that I want to do is I want to start uh, a capture of webhook response. This needs to be done once just so that we can simulate the data that is coming over from um, Calendly to Pabli Connect and we can see if the data is coming properly on this URL. So we will just simulate it once. We will just start on capture webhook response. So this will actually wait for a webhook response to come. Okay. Now I'm moving back to the Calendly window. I'm just writing the name of the person. Uh, I'm just writing the email address. And if you want to share anything, this is my first appointment. So uh, after writing this, I'm just clicking on schedule event. Okay. Uh, so this appointment is a scheduled. I'm now going back to Pabli Connect to see if the response has arrived. And you can see the webhook response has arrived right here. It is saying the event invitee created has executed. The time of the event has executed. It includes all the different details like uh, which person the event has been assigned to the account email ID of mine. Uh, and then it also gives us the payload invitee email address, which is like Pankaj Guna triple zero at gmail.com. So this means the entire webhook contains all the data that we really want to transfer inside Tabli email marketing software. So I'm just uh, closing this window for now. And now I'm adding one more step to actually send the data from here to Pabli email marketing. So inside this, uh, it says choose app. So I'm just choosing the Pabli email marketing app right here. Okay. Once I do that, it says which method I want to use. I want to add subscribers and then there is a connect button that is appearing right here. So I'm just pressing the connect button and it is asking us for a bearer token. This is asking us for a credential to send the data inside the Pabli email marketing account. To get this data, you can again go to accounts.pabli.com inside your email marketing account. Just click on access now and now go to integrations and click on developer API and you will find your bearer token, your account token right here. So I'm just copying this token and I'm pasting the token right here and I'm just saving the token. Okay. Once I do that, uh, the window opens up along with some data. It says in which list you want to enter the data. I'm just choosing list one. It automatically fetches all the list inside my account. So I just chose list one. Let me just show you the list one inside my account. Uh, subscribers list one does not has any emails or any subscribers in it right now. So I just chose list one in this list. I want to send the data. Uh, next is whether you want to insert single email or multiple email. So I'm just using the single text button, uh, use text button, and I'm just entering single the email of the person. Okay. So the email of the person was under uh, the payload invitee email. So I'm just choosing this option and the name of the person was a payload invitee name. So I'm just using the email and the name of this person. So I just mapped it right away. So what it will do is it will pick the data from a webhook response and it will map the data to 
of email to this pankajguna triple zero at gmail.com and it will also map the data to Pankaj Agrawal. It will not pick this uh, label, it will just pick the data inside the label. So here pankajguna triple zero at gmail.com will be used and here Pankaj Agrawal will be used. So I'm just saving this. Okay. Uh, before filing the test request, I'm just again showing you my account. It has zero subscribers in it. So I'm just sending a test request again. So it says test API is successfully executed. Okay. And the status of this is success. So I'm just going back. I'm reloading the page and you can see Pankaj Guna triple zero at gmail.com and Pankaj Agrawal is right here. And once it is uh, all set, everything looks fine. So the step one will actually capture webhook data from Calendly. And step two will insert the data inside the Pabli email marketing software once the data is captured through a webhook. So if everything looks fine, you can just press the save button. Uh, everything is saved. Uh, and you can now close this window. This means your entire integration is done. You do not need Pabli Connect anymore. Uh, and every new submission that comes through currently will automatically be passed on to Pabli email marketing software. So I will just give you a demo once more. Uh, I will go inside my Pabli, uh, my Calendly account. I will open the uh, the appointment booking form right away. I am choosing the date as 13. The timing is 9 a.m. and I am confirming the appointment. And I am just writing the name as Jim Riley, Jim Riley Holiday at gmail.com. Okay. Uh, at gmail.com this is uh, another appointment in fact if you don't write this it doesn't matter you can again schedule the event okay and this event is scheduled inside your Calendly I'm just reloading the page again and you can see two subscribers are added now so Jim Riley holiday at gmail.com is also added so this means we have automated all the submissions that are coming under Calendly and they will automatically reach Pabli email marketing software inside list one and they will be added as a subscribers. Interesting thing is now you can build an email automation sequence inside Pabli email marketing software and any person who is added to this specific list might get an automation sequence that you have already created inside Pabli email marketing software. So this means whenever there is an appointment booking that happens inside Calendly, those users will start to get an email drip sequence from you. Uh, it may be about your service, it may be about your product, or it may be about informing few things about your business. It is really amazing when you connect pa Calendly and Pabli email marketing together. It will hardly take less than 10 minutes. You can follow all the steps step by step through this video. And I'm pretty sure that you will love it and you can start to use this integration in your business. So thank you for watching this video.